when I call you baby boo You going crazy and I love the way you do it The way you back it up So today is Thursday and I'm at Tea Tree Plaza, so my local shopping mall. Um, I've got a couple of errands to run today, so I just need to do, to do, 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 to go into Pandora to collect my gift with purchase, which I'll show you guys later. Um, and then also Novo to find some low heels for my first dance for the wedding. Again, see, just wedding, wedding, wedding wedding stuff galore um but anyways i thought i'd just like briefly talk about i just put, spent like two hours in savers and i feel like i don't know i've always been that that girl that that girl that bitch that's like oh my god like no nah, i would never buy from savers but i've just recently been inspired and i'm like hey let me just have a look to see what they have so obviously i wasn't very like i didn't have any high expectations at all um, so I just walked in, you know, looked at a couple racks, wanted to see what every, like what they had, and then I started getting into the mood. I feel like you have to be in the mood to thrift shop, thrift shop as well. So I got into the mood, and I literally was going up and down every single aisle, and I found so many goodies, and I spent like a third of what I would have spent if I bought all those items brand new as well. Um, so. Yeah, I will show you the whole when I get home. I literally spent $49. And I bought like a book. I bought um, this candle holder. And then I bought a little like a a dish. I was going to say Petri dish. Um, a dish for like my jewelry as well. And I've got some pants, um, some shirts and a blazer. So I'm so excited to go home and do my haul so yeah i'll see you guys at home but i'm just gonna go to cheeky poo quickly okay i'll be back so i just came back from tea tree plaza and i did a little bit of thrift shopping today so i just thought i'd um show what i got and how much i spent i think in my last um clip i did say i think i spent I, t I did say how much i spent this was 49 dollars um but i actually ended up getting a lot of um good deals so yeah um but i went to a couple of different stores so i'll just kind of go through what i've got here not in any particular order but i just like to do these types of videos i guess the rustling um so first place was kmart So I got this spiral album. Um, so I'm just going to get the guests to stick, like glue their photo booth, like a copy of their photo booth photos here. And then just like write a message or do whatever with that. I thought that would be just like something fun to do um, with the photo booth. So yeah, it even has a photo booth photo in the photo. Anyways, that was what I got. I think it was like $8. So like a bargain. Next thing I got was this. I have been on the hunt f for the Chanel one. It's like an unofficial and unauthorized, but it's just a cute coffee table book. Like, look at it. Um, this was $12. I don't know why I just said the price, but I've got literally every other book in the collection. So, like, I got a Dior, Dior, Dior Prada, Gucci, Yves Saint Laurent, and Louis Vuitton as well. Now I finally got the Chanel, so I'm very, very excited about that. I literally wanted to get it from Kmart though because at Kmart it's only tw um twelve dollars, but um like David Jones and all that like bookstores have it they always have it but it's twenty four so it's like 
I need to find it at Kmart, and I did today. They did a big restock, so they've got plenty. Um, a car window mount. So I think I mentioned in my previous videos that I needed a car mount to see if I, like, when I vlog, when I drive, if it's going to be interesting at all. So I want to try that out. This was like $9. So honestly, if I'm boring, I don't lose out on much, do I? And two glue sticks. Literally, that's it. Hopefully this is, um, I love Uhu glue sticks, so hopefully. So this is for the photo booth, though. So that was all I got from Kmart, the rustling. Um, next, so in my what I spent in a week video story time. Um, so I bought that tennis bracelet. It was literally Monday, the 29th of August. Um, so I spent $129 on the tennis bracelet. Literally the day after, there was a post on Pandora Facebook page to say that if you spend over $120, you get a free jewelry box. And I was reading the comments and a lot of people were saying like, oh, what if we spent money yesterday? What if we spent money? Blah, blah, blah. And then the Pandora person, like the person that controls their Facebook page was actually replying and saying like, look, if that happened to you, just email this um send an email through here and we'll like investigate it and see what we can do so obviously other people were feeling that like the same as me so i went and um emailed them and they were so nice they got back to me in like a day and a half and they just said to go to the tdp store and collect it before september 11th so that was really lovely of them because obviously yeah i needed to buy that from pandora but if I knew the promotion was on, I would have waited, if that makes sense. So that's what a lot of people, like I was relating to a lot of people in the comments. So normally I wouldn't do this, but because people were commenting the same thing that I was thinking, I was like, you know what? I'll just test my luck and see. So, ah, oh, this is such a cute, oh my God, it's so cute. I have you can't even see it. Oh my God, it's such a cute shade of pink. The rustling. And you know what? I actually have been needing a jewelry box because my jewelry just sits wherever I chuck them. That's really bad. But oh my god! Oh, it's so cute. Doop, doop. And there's like little. Oh my god! Thank you, Pandora. Um, and yeah, that's got the sides there for your rings. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, so that's what I picked up today as well because I was in TDP. Um, so I thought I might as well. It's on the way, isn't it? Okay, I'm just wanting to pack this up nicely. So, lovely. So that's what I got from Pandora. So excited. Um... Next, we went to Novo. So, um, for the wedding, we're doing like a first dance. So, we've actually been doing lessons as well. So, that's really full on. Um, but I thought like the heels that I am wearing for my wedding is very, very high. And I don't think I can dance in them. So, I was like, well, look, I need a pair of lower heels that I could wear that are like a little bit fancy. Um, so, I went to Novo today. So, I've just been looking on their website to see you know, what they have, it is pouring outside, um, what they had in store and they have a deal where it's buy one, get one half price. I feel like they have that deal all the time though. Like, so I don't know. Yeah. But I'll show you guys the heels. Not that anyone's asked me to show, but so they're a little, little bit fancy. The rustling. They're a little bit fancy. So I don't know. I'll probably try Oh my god, I just realized it's raining and we have shit outside. Lovely. Um, so hopefully I'm gonna see if I can try to wear them a lot more after the wedding. Because they are a bit fancy, but I'll show you guys. How freaking cute. And it's like a little kitten heel and it's got a strap. Like these are so cute. Obviously, they're like I, can't, I don't know that brand of that shoe with the bow, but like that's like the bow that everyone's got. Obviously, this is like a bit, a lot cheaper than the real one. But how flipping cute are they? Like, as soon as I saw it in the store, I was like, yep. Yeah. Oh. 
they're so cute so that's what i got and they were Yeah, they were about one sec. So they were $74.95. But then the 50% off second pair I got was just some sandals for win winter. <laughs> some sandals for spring. So, I don't know. They came in a little bag like that. But literally, just these little cute summer sandals. Can't be bothered untying that. But you get the gist of it. And these are so comfy as well. And I needed a new pair because the pair that I wear that I wear now is like six years old. So that came out to be $24.95. So together was $99 something. And then I had a $10 voucher for some reason. So that even went down cheaper. So for two pairs of shoes, I got it for like $89. And I can wear this for the wedding as well. So bargain. Next. This is the most exciting part of this video oh my god this savers <laughs> da da he okay so let me just tidy up a little bit um but like i said i went to savers um and yeah i just was very inspired to go for some reason and i was definitely in the mood i don't know what came upon me came upon me what i felt this morning i felt just a sudden urge to want to go thrift shopping so i did and um from what i've heard i feel like the modbury one apparently is better so i was like well look i'm going to tdp and modbury is like next door so i popped in and i was end up it being there for like two hours which is insane to me because yeah but anyways I feel like it won't really show it on camera anyway. But the first piece <coughs> is a blazer. How cute. Obviously, I'm going to wash all this before I wear it. Um, but I got this blazer. And it's literally got the shoulder pads and everything. And guess how much it costs? $5.80. That's the same price as a freaking Happy Meal. Like, that was the first one. I'm just going to chuck it on the floor. Um, the next thing I got is this, this like little cropped sweater with a zip through it. It's got like a bat wing, I don't know, but this was originally from Cotton On, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's Cotton On. Um, but anyways, this was $6.80. Are you kidding me? I'm, I've been wanting one of the, like this style, I feel like, uh, uh, um, I've been wanting the one from Lululemon, but it's like $140. So that's very similar. So look, I'll settle with that for now. Anyways, next item are these pants. They're like a nice green sage. Is it sage? I don't know, but it's literally brand new. Like, excuse me. Um, yeah, so I just saw these and I love the color. So I was like, you know what? I'll try them on and look at the, they're like boot, like, is it called bootleg? And it's got like a little slit on the side. At first when I picked it up, it was like a size 12. I was like, oh, that's going to be a bit big, but I'm happy I tried it on because it actually fits me like snug. So I think princess poly sizing is small. Yeah. Runs small because I'm usually a 10 and this is a 12 and it was very snug, but these nine dollars and 49 cents that's a steal like i've been needing a pair of pants like this <sighs> best day ever um next item is just a like a bandeau -y type of top um i think there's a thing going on here i'm into green lately um but yeah this was originally from cotton on as well and I think I'm just going to wear this like under a blazer or like under leather jacket. It's really cute. Guess how much? $3.50. A McFlurry. Like literally this is the same price as a McFlurry or even cheaper. I don't know how much McFlurries go for these days. <sighs> Amazing. And the last thing I bought. 
it's a bit weird I, I don't know how i feel but it's just like an oversized like boyfriend <coughs> it's chill mm, an oversized like boyfriend shirt because like, i've been wanting to buy one one of these but like all the boyfriend shirts fit snug on me because of my bus so like, i've been wanting to find one but then when i do they're like 80 70 80 dollars so I can't justify that. So when I saw this in the men's, obviously it's in the men's section, but it's so pretty. And the material is very, very nice as well. Like I was just looking at it at the store. I was like, $10.50. Thank you. That was a nice purchase. And then the rustling, pause. I got... Um, two homeware items. When I saw it in the store, I was like, it would, I don't know, I feel like the type of, the style, it's not like they're that big of a, like, decor piece, but it would go with everything in my house because it's very, like, neutral, very plain, very, yeah. Anyway, so I got two um, house homewares. Is it homewares? homewares it was in the homeware section anyway but first look at this book it's so pretty i don't know i just saw it and i was like like i was re like looking through it like obviously it's like a cookbook but even just in the kitchen just chilling it's like a coffee table you know what i mean like one of those books for decor decor decoration decor i don't know but guess how much this was $3.99. Still. I love thrift shopping. Anyways, first, the rustling. First homeware piece. It was really cute when I saw it. I don't know how I feel about it now though, but look at this little dish. <laughs> I don't know, it looks like a dish you'd eat ice cream off of, but I just thought even just for jewelry or something like just can you just picture it like i don't know see how it just camouflages with everything in my house like it's just it just is suits the it's fitting you know this was 3.99 i don't know it's just something about this thing i don't know i just bought it next we have i was so scared i couldn't drop this like honestly Ta -da! it's like a candle like you put the candle in it, if that makes sense. But look, how nice is it? I need to wipe it down because it's a bit dirty, but how beautiful. So I thought this wouldn't just look nice somewhere in the house. I don't know where yet. I'm just gonna redecorate soon. But this was $3.99. What the hell? How? And that concludes my haul for the day um it literally feels like all i do is spend money on my days off but i don't know i feel like this was a bargain and i feel like i love the idea of thrift shopping because it's like you're you're like saving them like not these let us these items are not going to landfill, like them repurposing it and like saving the environment, if that makes sense. So it's like, it's not really fast fashion where it's like, you know, is it called fast fashion where people just buy shit, buy stuff, where people just like buy things and just like throw them out. Whereas this is like, it's given another chance. I don't know. I think that's just a really nice, I don't know. It's a nice pro. What's it called? What's it called? Oh my god, I'm like retarded today. Anyways, I feel like thrift shopping is good for the pocket, the environment, and everyone else. I don't know. So yeah, I think at the start when I was like, the thought of thrift shopping kind of like made me a bit, like made me feel a bit eh, because it's like, you don't know where this stuff's been. But if you think about it that way, it's wrong. It's the wrong way to think about it. But 
you think about it a different way where it's like you're repurposing a lot of things that people didn't want. Pretty much like a garage sale. You're not wasting things. You're like giving it a new home, a new life. You know what I mean? Even stuff like these days where they have rent the rack and stuff, that's pretty much similar thing. Like, whereas that stuff is more like bougie or like more expensive. Whereas this is just like, if you go on a good day, I feel like you can find such good things. And like, for me today, I feel like I'm excited to come back, I don't know, in a couple of weeks time to see what else. Because it's like, you don't know what you're going to find, which I feel like is like a treasure, I almost said treasure chest, like a treasure hunt. Like, you just don't know what goodies you're going to find that day. And it's never going to be the same, like, any day that you go. It's never going to be the same because it's always changing. And I really like that. And it's like, you can find things that, obviously, still, I've got stuff that's still brand new. Like, you can find things that people just didn't wear at all or, like, um, clothes that don't get sold anymore at the shops. Like, start, like older styles, which I think I'm into. Like, for example, blazers. Like, that blazer was, like, $5 something. A blazer, like, a normal blazer from the shop can go for about $60, $70, $180. Like, that's insane to me. So, it's like, look, I'm just going to thrift it because, like, you're saving money. You're saving the environment. lovely okay well i think that concludes my video i don't know why every time i film i talk for like 25 minutes but here we are um so yeah i'm gonna go wash all these new clothes now and take a nap <laughs> bye